I just built the Altima AI UGC system that's able to generate any types of UGC ads for any actors and any products and extend it to any length without any restrictions. Check this out. All we have to do is go into Airtable over here, give it an ad name, ad narrative, and some instructions. We can choose the actor that we want from our table over here, as well as the image reference of a product that we want to use. And then we can select the number of scenes, aspect ratio, the model that we want to use, as well as the visual style. And once we set the setters to generate ads, it will generate all of the different scenes for us, upload them and render them together into a final video that looks like this. Check this out. And so depending on how we set it, we can extend the length of the video to however long we want it to be. And once you're happy with the advert, you could also post it onto all your social platforms by changing the ready to upload to upload video. You can see the status have been set to completed and now it's uploaded onto all our social platforms from Instagram all the way to TikTok. Let's check them out. Here we have it on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook as well. And just like that, we have our very own AI UGC factory. And if you're watching this video, you'll probably fall into one of these two categories. You're either a business owner looking for ways to scale your own content, or you could be an agency owner or freelancer that wants to learn how to build AI content for brands or for yourself. And this system could be super valuable to you because AI videos like this today are generating thousands of views as well as sales. But not only that, with a system like this, you're also able to test hundreds to thousands of different adverts at scale at a fraction of the cost. And to show that it's actually working, many smart brands are already doing this, testing hundreds of different AI adverts over and over again. And so this is really the future of marketing and it's only going to get better from here as time progresses. And so today I'm going to run through how I actually built this system so that you can leverage it for yourself as well. To get started, this is actually part of my Build A Ultimate AI Content System series where I constantly share different AI improvements to the system to make it better week by week. In my previous system, I showcased how I product this system on Airtable such that we don't have to go into the back end on any end. We only have to trigger the status over here to make it run just like our own AI says. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I streamline this process to be able to add in different AI models in a simple way so that we can scale it every time a new model comes out without making the NAN system look too complicated. And so if you want to go through the step-by-step -step process of how I built this whole system up, you can check out my previous video. But if you want to fast track the process and get all the latest blueprints of this AI UGC system that leverages the latest AI models weekly that you can use right away, you can join my community link in description below where I share all my blueprints and update inside. All right, so now let's go into any end to see what has changed since the previous time. Just to give an overview of the whole system that we have built previously, what we have over here is five different sections, right? The first one is the actor generation system where we are able to generate a new actor in our UGC factory over here, upload it with the actor image. And then from there, we have the first scene generated system, which helps us generate the very first scene for the advert over here. And then depending on the specific advert, if there's more than one scene, we'll have this section over here, which will extend the scene from the previous video so that we can get a longer UGC video depending on the advert that we want to create. And then we'll have this render video section, which would render the video together. And lastly, the publishing system, which would help us publish our videos onto all our social platforms. And so what happened previously is that while we add in the new models like 1, 2.5 as well as VO3, essentially by adding them all inside this specific NAN workflow, you will create a lot of different nodes over here. And this could be a problem if you want to continue to add in more models in the future because that will make it super messy and clustered. And so how I always think about building systems is to modularize them as much as possible so that we can reuse them and expand and scale our systems constantly over and over again. And that's what makes it a truly scalable and useful AI content system. And so what we have done in this specific system over here is that we actually modularize the AI models into a different workflow and we use this node over here, execute sub workflow to be able to call the different models and then we can reuse them throughout the system like this so that we actually make the whole process a lot simpler. And today we're going to cover how I actually do that. So you can see over here, one of the triggers that we select is to choose the model that we have. Right, which could be VO3, VO3 Fast, or 1.2.5. These are some of the best models today for AI UGC videos. And so when we want to use these different models, what we have done earlier is that instead of having this whole process where we have to call the model, have a wait node and get video status, and then download the video, what we want to do is to bring this whole process over here into a separate workflow. If you take a look from this specific section, if I open this up, you can see I've created a new workflow for 1, 2.5. And this whole section over here is actually the same as what we have created earlier in the previous video. The only difference is that we will now use when execute by another workflow to send over the information that it needs, such as the prompt as well as the image URL and run this specific section, getting the final video file before sending it back to the full workflow over here to be uploaded 
and update it into our air table. And so how I actually did that is I created a sub workflow over here and I sent over the prompt from the previous scene generator agent over here, as well as the image URL from the nano banana image model over here. Once I sent over this two information, it will actually run in this sub workflow over here, right? You use the one 2.5 image to video model, send over the prompt and image URL that we have given, and then from there generate the video get video status over here and then download the video file. And once we have the video file downloaded, it will send it back to the original workflow and upload the video for us and continue the rest of the workflow. All right, and so this process is actually very useful because if you take a look at VO3 and open this up, the system setup is actually pretty much the same. We call the model using a aggregator like KAI. And then from there, we get the video status as well as download the video. And then we send it back over here once again. All right. And so this process is actually very powerful because if you take a look at the nano banana generator over here as well, the process is also pretty much the same. We generate the image and then we have a wait node and then we get the image file. And this by itself could also once again be copied over into another workflow. And then we can modularize this process, making it simpler. And then we can connect it to many different models that we want to use. And then all we got to do is to add in a switch node for the specific model that we want to use. And then we can add a section into Airtable over here for us to select the different models that we want to use. And that's how we actually modularize this process. And the very same thing below for extended scenes as well. The process is exactly the same, right? This time we're using these two models, but for extending the videos instead of generating the very first scene. And that's how we actually simplify the process to make it even more scalable than before. And this is one of the new features that I've added into our system this week. Definitely something that's able to help me scale this system up a lot easier as new models comes up along the way. And so once again, if you want to gain access to this system as well as every weekly update, do join the school community where I share all the updates on all the new systems that I'll be dropping on a weekly basis. On top of that, if you want to learn how to build content systems like this from scratch, we do have a full basic guide on how to build your very own content systems from scratch using no code tools like NAN. We also have weekly live course and tech support as well to help you get unstuck along the way. So if that sounds interesting to you and you want to get ahead in this AI content race, you can join the community link in description below. Till then, I really appreciate you for staying to the end. If you like videos like this and want to stay up to date to the latest AI content systems that you can leverage right away, do give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.